Hi, my name is Alexis, I'm Relationship Counselor. In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of strangers and how it can help you get back with your ex. Right now, your ex has made up their mind that things won't change, that there's no future between you two. They have this image of you, whether it's right or wrong, that you can change and things will be the same if you get back together. And this is why you are the last person to convince them that you should get back together and this is why i want to introduce you this concept of strangers i'll explain everything after the jingle i get my ex back.com everyone deserves a second chance so what happens when you meet someone when you meet someone that you are attracted with obviously there is this attraction which is very much unconscious sometimes we meet people, we're attracted to people, we don't know why. And sometimes we see people, they tick all the boxes and we're not attracted to those people. But we have this unconscious attraction. And so we have this first impression, good impression usually, and we want to know more of that person. We are curious. There's a driving force here where we feel, I need to see this person again. I want to share more time. I want to enjoy sharing time with this person. That's what we want to do. That's what you had with your partner at some stage, right? If you've been in a relationship, a loving relationship, a mutual relationship, of course, at the beginning of your relationship, when you guys met, that's how your ex felt towards you. And our job is to bring you and your ex at this point in time, not when you guys broke up, but when you guys met. So the first step is to start fresh. We have to clear old baggage to set new goals. Things need to change, right? I'm gonna discuss about that later, but obviously, as I discussed, your ex would want, wouldn't want to get back in a relationship where you guys uh, left. So that's why you also need to do enhanced or effective communication. Be an active listener. Try to steer the conversation where your ex will feel safe. I talk a lot about attachment style in my videos because the reason people end up or break up, uh, end up together or break up is because of the fear. It's not because of the feeling. And the fear are unconscious drivers. When you're an avoidant, you have a fear of commitment. When you're anxious, you have a fear of abandonment. If I summarize in two sentences. So step number two is to showcase change. This is where you can demonstrate that you are more secure. The principle, the principle of uh, attachment theory when it comes to getting back with an ex is that the more secure you are, the more secure your partner will become. So you have to show that, for example, you have to really break those assumptions, the, the impressions that your ex had towards the end of the relationship. The fact that you're needy, no, now you're not needy anymore, you're independent. The fact that you need someone and seeking reassurance all the time, no, you don't need that, you're confident. The fact that you come across as confrontational, no, you're understanding now. It's the only way to get back with your ex is to change those traits and reverse the dynamic because your ex wouldn't want to get back to the thing he or she left. Step number three, new boundaries. And this is why it's very important to know about your attachment style, to understand what should be healthy boundaries, what should be realistic uh, needs for your relationship, and also understanding your ex's boundary. Understand that your ex, if he is avoidant, for example, or she is avoidant, they need some space, and that's part of their boundaries. So respecting their space is something that you need to implement and you need to understand. And understand what you want from a relationship because sometimes people, the other extreme is sometimes people are too understanding. They accept too many things from their partner. They are, accept to be treated badly, to be abused sometimes. And this is why it's very important to do this work and assessing what, is an, what does it mean for you to be securely attached with a partner because securely attached is not accepting everything for your partner. It's, a sec, it's accepting a respectful uh, relationship where both of your needs are met. Four, take your time. Take your time. It's probably one of the most important tips because it's the one that people get wrong most of the time. Because you're under stress, because there's a lot of emotion, you tend, we tend 
to have our insecurities resurface. So the way our brain works is anytime there's something stressful, we end up in this fight or flight mode, which is driven by our old brain, by our unconscious brain, which is basically the one tapping into your insecurities. Understand that getting back with an ex is not a straight line. There will be ups and downs. And so that's why it's very important for you to, while you work on your, uh, on developing a secure attachment style, you also work on a form of resilience. And it's very important, and I find that it's really a game changer to have a support system uh, when you do this work. Could be with friends, could be uh, with people in your family that you trust, could be with a therapist. The idea, and I see it, it's way, way more efficient to have someone in your team. Could be someone who is like a relationship therapist, your psychologist, whoever, but it's always better if you have someone because they will help you when there'll be sort of uh, downs in the process of getting back with your ex. Remember this, and it's very important. Your ex will be attracted by this stranger. What happens when they realize you, or the V2.0 the V2.0 uh, version of you, they were wrong about you. They thought you were needy, but you're not. They thought you were uh, always needing to be reassured, but actually, no, you're very confident, right? So all these things that they didn't like towards the end of the relationship are gone. So what's left? What's left is the chemistry, what's left is the connection, what's left is the history that you had together. You have to wait for six weeks, maybe more, but at least for six weeks, for your ex to realize, to have to reset these things. Because first of all, if there's a continuity, you can't display any form of change if you've been in touch with that person forever. The idea is to really having that space, having this sort of um, time for them to reflect, time for them to miss you. And this is when people will feel like, ah, I was wrong. Because my idea of you that was six weeks ago is completely different than what I see. The tone, the expression, the nonverbal communication is different. I was wrong. So it could be more than six weeks. I wouldn't exceed six months. The reason I don't exceed six months is that this idea of strangers, you don't need to wait years for your ex to feel that they, don't act, they didn't know you that much. Six weeks, I think it's a, it's a minimum, four, six weeks minimum, depending on the length of the relationship. But I wouldn't wait six months because the reason is that if you wait months seven, months eight, months nine, there will, still, there will already be construct, a contrast between who you are now and who you were before the break, um, during the breakup. The, uh, the way I see it is like it's quite a steep curve and there's a plateau and it, there's no point waiting more months, especially if at the end your ex is not necessarily interested, whether your ex has decided to move on. So there's a risk here to wait for too long and you'll have the right to get some closure and get some clarity. If you do it too early, you're not going to create this stranger's effect. If you do it too long, you can, do, you can wait 10 years and 10 years you'll be a stranger to your partner, but they won't be uh, available to get back with you. Any other questions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to get in touch, you have links to give me a uh, course to book calls with me. If you found this video helpful, don't hesitate to like. It does help me a lot. I would appreciate your support if you also want to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.